What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. We're gonna go get a science suit because I heard that we could actually use the bathroom inside of it and that sounds interesting to moi. We also have this super awesome gun right here that I am enjoying the hell out of. It looks like some kind of like, I don't know, AR-15 variant or something. They call it an LR-300ML. I don't know what that means, but it seems to be pretty awesome. I can't mount anything on it, unfortunately. I wish that I could. Would that I could, then I would, but I can't. So we're gonna go through this gate right here and it's gonna be time for our next episode. Now that we find ourselves on the other side of the zone, I hear moaning, and I don't think I want to hear moaning right now. Let's use something with a little bit more expendable ammo since I don't want to waste our 5.56. We just got it. We just got it. So sending it at the enemy so soon seems like a bad plan. So what are we trying to do here? We're in Yantar, I guess? That's a really cool base over there. It looks like the kind of thing that would be like on a hillside in Hoth. But we're not on Hoth. If anything, it looks a bit more like Dagobah, minus a lot of the trees. It's like Dagobah after the Industrial Revolution. We've got a Zed over there. Another Zed over here. Why are there so many zombies around? Who knew that zombies would be part of this game? But then again, I think they try and slide zombies into everything nowadays, although this one's a little bit older than a lot of the titles nowadays, so maybe it was kind of like exempt from the trend. Maybe it was ahead of the curve. There's a zombie right there. I don't know if there's a reason to kill the zombies. Do they bother us? It looks like you can body shot them perfectly fine and nothing terrible happens. He's got ammo, so nothing to complain about there. I'll take the 556 five, for show. 556 five, all day or a day. And then I think I saw another one, yeah, like right there. A duty officer. They definitely fall down quicker if you shoot them in the head. I don't want any of that. That all looks worthless. I want to shoot something with this deagle right here. Where's something I can shoot with my deagle? Can I hold it sideways while I fire? Just bacow, bacow, son. You don't know me, bacow. The only person understand. It's highly important that we do the measurements it. now. I'm not going anywhere alone. I'm begging you, please do it. We all depend on it. It's about time you got through to us. I see ya. Wait, I thought you said I got a science suit. Isn't that what I was supposed to be doing right now? I was to come to Yantar and you give me a science suit? Who are you? Sakharov. Yes? Thank you, uh, Marked One, right? You helped save our associate Kruvlov, and in order to show my sincere appreciation, I would like to present you with one of our working suits. It comes in handy, you should know that. Could I be of additional help to you? I'm looking for Lab X-16. Barkeep told me you might have information about its location. We've had a long interest in Lab X-16, or rather, in the mechanism inside it that generates emissions which directly affects people's consciousness. I'm afraid I have to disappoint you. The place is impossible to penetrate without special psi armor. The outcome is known in advance. Even if you could evade the swarms of zombies that infest the laboratory entrance, you run the risk of becoming one of them. This is all very serious. However, we've designed a screening device that should help shield the emission, but to fine-tune it, we have to obtain additional measurements. If you could help us with this task, we could probably provide you with a fully calibrated prototype for field testing. Measurements? If you, together with our associate, take all the necessary measurements, I will prepare a fully workable prototype of the armor and will give it to you. It will most likely get you inside the laboratory. Okay, I agree. Excellent. Talk to Kruglov and get going. He's already equipped with the necessary gear. Hooray! I love it when people have the rotating accessories that we require. What does this guy have? Ooh, he's got a Winchester M1300. That thing looks badass. What is this right here? An ecologist suit? It looks like it makes you immune to, like, everything. Then again... It's not so great against rupture and bulletproof. And given my history and the way that things like to shoot at me, I think that we should probably... Oh, there's my... He already gave me one. Okay, so we've got the SSP right there. All right, well, I'll sell you the droplets. I will sell you a great deal of the fireballs. The gravy I'm not really interested in. We'll get rid of gravy for right now. I do want those so that I can get shot a little bit better. The flashes I need. The bloodsucker tentacles you can have. Pseudo dog tail you can take as well. I'm going to sell you all my shotgun shells because, eh, I don't use shotguns very often. Micah and Slug can both go with you, and then Slime can also go with you. That should clear out a little bit of our space. I've got more than enough gear right now to get rid of all radiation we might acquire over the course of our adventures. So I'm going to get rid of all the liquor as well so it's not clogging up my inventory. Got the PB or the SP6 right there. Okay, so that'll work out. I'm going to keep the suits that I have. And I think that for right now, a really, really good plan for us would be to find a way... To go back to barkeep, what do those cost? Not much. Okay, well, I'm not going to hold on to them then. 
Maybe I'll keep like one bonus that I can stash somewhere in case that I need it, but for right now, that'll do. So 36,000 more rubles for us. We're now 100,000 air as far as rubles are concerned, although from what I understand, that's actually the equivalent of like $4,000 maybe. Like we don't actually have that much money. So all things considered, economically, we're not going to be able to have a whole lot of purchasing power. Haven't sold any grenades. That's looking pretty good right there. We have enough medical supplies to last. That's why I think we'll stop from right there. Where's Kruglov at? Kruglov, what you doing, homie? Want to hang out with me for a little bit and talk about all these magical adventures we're going to have together? With all the hugging and touching and squeezing that could be imagined? Yes, Marked One. The professor asked me to take a trip to the measurement site. Now you're talking business. Let's move out immediately. It was no use to getting there alone, but with you along, it's different. I think we'll manage quickly. Just make sure not to let those walking cadavers get too close. You ready? Yeah, let's do it. You go first. Check the area outside the lab. The monsters have been very active lately. Maybe if you stop calling them monsters, they'd be more friendly. Maybe they have wonderful personalities and just don't like being called names. Did you ever think about that, Mr. Mememe Judgmental? Huh? So where am I going? You said to check outside? You're coming along, right? Yes? There he is. So he's coming along with us. Good. Excellent. Excellente. Zombies, you out here? I'm pretty sure I shot all of them already. Oh, nope. There's one right there. There we go. No shotgun shells for right now. Oh, yeah. We got another one on that side, don't we? There we go. We'll drop him real fast with some well-placed shots. 18 left in the chamber. Nothing in the field to be worried about. Except for some of these brushes. I hate those things that get down in your socks with the little pokies. Ah, I hate those things. I hope they don't have those here. This adventure will get real nappy real quick. You want to hear me, bitch? That's a great way to do it. Get some of those little pointy things up in your sock. Not the ones that are just pointed on one end like it's stuck in your dog's ears. Let me do the metering and we'll move on. Alright, get your reading. Do your thing. Prove your literacy. We will up the scale, but the radiation is normal. We need to move on. Automatic medical systems engaged. Ooh, they use the same voice as Half-Life. I like it. I like it a lot. I figured I should probably put my rad suit on since he's got his on and he said the radiation might be a problem. It seemed like a good idea. I shall protect you, scientist! I wish science had a lot more zombies in it. I think I'd be far more interested in completing, like, collegiate stuff. If there were zombies involved, I would have been down. Unfortunately, there were no zombies involved. There were zombies involved with my in-between, because that was right when I went back to college. That's when Left 4 Dead came out, and I played a lot of Left 4 Dead. I'm trying to kill my homie right now? I don't accept that. What are you shooting at? Oh, yeah, look at that. There is a zombie. Oh, shit. That's a lot of zombies. What was that up there, though? I saw something else running around being all jiggly and scary. That one was still alive. Apparently, they can do that. But there was one of those things from the... seems to have gone off scale. That one, we need to get deeper inside. I can't make out anything in here. Whatever you say, Chief. I'm here with you. Is there a real scientific reason why the Earth is shaking right now? Because last I checked, earthquakes were not part of the potential disasters that could take place here. Shit! Imminent blowout! Run, Mark One! Hell is about to break! Fang, you can't just leave him like that. Just leave him. There is nothing we can do for him. The blowout is minutes away and we won't get through with him. No, Fang, I'm not leaving him. I appreciate that the first thing we do when we get up is that we lock and load our gun before even getting out of a prone. Lying prostrate. You alright, buddy? You alive? Come on, get up. Get up slowly. It's all over. It's behind us now. Oh, we've got to get out of here quick. <laughs> yeah, you and me both, buddy. The measurements. Now we just need to get back to the bunker. I hear that. Let's get the hell out of here. These shenanigans are done in my mind. We're out of here. Nope. 
The whole world just tried to explode in order to take us out. You realize how much we must have pissed off the universe? How much karmic just payback we have waiting for us when the entire Earth just tried to blow up to get rid of us? Are we up against something here? Bec oh, I don't like that breathing noise. I don't like that breathing noise at all. Is that us or is that something in here? Get out of the way, crate. Time for your shenanigans right now. I can't have you boxing me in. Not one little bit. It looks like it's on the outside of the pipe, but who even knows anymore? I'm glad we got a higher powered weapon though, because I wouldn't feel comfortable doing this with the AK. Sometimes the AK just isn't enough when you play. Whereas this gun seems to handle just even armored, like heavily armored guys, like one or two headshots, and they're done. Goes both ways, obviously, giggity, but at the same time... You know that when you walk through bushes in this game, it makes noise, and that's how people hear you? I don't know if I ever mentioned that before, but watch our noise meter. Well, it might not go up a whole bunch because he's running around doing God knows what. Not being stealthy, that's for sure. So since I don't need that anymore, let me put on my bulletproof suit here. Get ready to go. I wish we could find a few more stone flowers. I'm willing to bet I probably sold a whole bunch of them like an idiot. If I get like two or three more of those things, we'd be like bulletproof. We'd have like 60% bullet resist. Ain't nothing ever kill us again. We'd be like, ugh, flexing in the middle of the battlefield. Nothing to worry about. Kruglov, what are you doing right now? Oh, it's a decon room, except it doesn't really decon. Okay. Here are the results. Here, here, and here. Couldn't be any more accurate. All right, let me adjust the prototype. <laughs> I like how he just grumbles and bitches when he walks away. I can tell by the tone of his voice he's probably not happy. Adjust my prototype, sir, so that I don't get hit with mind bullets. I can take a normal bullet, a mind bullet. Eh. I've got a lot of body stats. Didn't put a whole lot into intellect. I think that if I take any bullets to the brain, it might cause some serious problems. Yeah, you know, take your time. You did an excellent job. If the measurements are correct, the prototype should provide you with maximum protection from emission. Glad to hear it. Stalker, now you will be able to break through to the laboratory, but unless you turn off the emitter, you won't last long even with the site protection on. We've estimated an approximate location of the emitter. It is located in an underground facility. I have marked the spot on your map. Vasiliev was working on the lab issue. About a week ago, he and a stalker called Ghost tried to get inside. A couple of hours later, we felt a major tremor, and after another hour, we picked up a signal from Vasiliev, coming from the swamp, but it died away. And Vasiliev died away with it, it would seem. Tried to find his corpse. He had the exact information on the lab and the way to get into it. There may even be info on deactivating that source of the emission. I've uploaded you all the data we have. Okay. It'd be very interesting to take a look at the documents. You think Vasiliev has them? Perhaps. At any rate, you must start by finding Vasiliev's body. That's the only chance we have of obtaining accurate information about the lab's location. The body of your colleague, Ghost, must be somewhere there as well. You know, it seemed to me like he knew a lot more about X-16 than he admitted to us, yet somehow, had he survived, well, it's no use holding on to the hope, of course. Alright, we gotta go find Vasiliev, then. Looks like we're moving along pretty well right now, though. I mean, all things considered, we seem to be surviving in an environment where a lot of other people are dying. Pretty spectacularly, in fact. Let's have a look on this side. Try not to knife the explosive barrels. Do I want the methane? I don't want the methane right now. It's worth 500 rubles. Hooray. Just in case you want 500 rubles. Not going to do much for me at this point. Don't roll it around like that. My god, the thing's going to blow up and kill us all. I don't know if it's like nitroglycerin, but I prefer to stay the hell away from it. I figure we go out... I don't know. Let's just head for the objective, I guess. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of side stuff for us to do right now. Oh, no. Yeah, get down! Ow. I'm not sure how I feel about that jump attack. 
Alright, pistol ain't doing it. Pistol definitely ain't doing it. Ow. Did you just try and sweep kick me? No, 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 no. We're not getting into that kind of kung fu action in here. Nope, not for a moment. Let me use a med kit real fast so I don't bleed to death. What the hell is that? A snork foot. He's a snork? The snork feet contain a huge number of highly elastic tendons. This explains the beast's ability to make unbelievably long jump. It looked like he just jumped like six or seven feet to me. I mean, you would have to be like a track star. Are those my guts right there? Damn it! You knocked out some of my intestines with your amazing, super awesome, supernatural punch. That's not okay. Well... Guess we'll take our time out here. Let me put back on my scientific suit. Medical systems engaged. Just in case we come across anything that's too irradiated for us to navigate safely. Anytime we come across water, I become slightly suspicious of the fact that... Oh yeah, there's the military... Oh, the zombies. Okay, so there's one down. Oh, another snort. They don't look as adorable as they sound. A snork sounds like a pet that you could just, like, hang out with, like a tribble. And you just have to, like, give it a stroking every now and again. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Hell no. Oh, there's one on that side, too. Jesus. Okay, so... Let's avoid panicking here for a moment. However, what I would prefer to do is let's grab as much ammo out of this situation as we can. Were they stacked on each other right there? They love each other so much that they just have to occupy the same space, otherwise they can't be happy in life. I can respect that. Good friends are needed. Alright, so now that we're down in the dumps here... Let's see if we can grab out of there. We got a little bit of ammunition. Where's the other corpse at? It's right there. There it is. Okay, so let's swap back into the AK-47 to conserve the 5.56. It's got a scope anyways, so we might be able to make some pretty spectacular shots should we really apply ourselves. Normally I try to avoid that, but eh, gotta do what you gotta do to keep things real. Another snort coming in at us. Oh no. Luckily they seem to be really, really bad at shooting, so there's that working to our benefit. However, he did just tag us right there. Snork's down, I hope anyways. Yep, Snork's down next to the body. And there's Snork foot. It said it was worth a decent amount of misfire right there, okay. And the Snork is already on top of us again. Another misfire? Oh my god, okay, so... That's not good. That's really, really bad. If I could avoid getting shot, punctured, or otherwise hurt for a couple seconds, that would be great. I'm gonna pull around back behind here. Use a scientific med kit. Let's swap into a gun that isn't going to jam up on us every eight seconds. He's down. Snork's still in play, though. I'm going to make a snork sound after I get done with you. How beat up is this thing? It doesn't seem like it's in that bad of shape. And again, who can tell anymore? Snorky Poo, where are you? Is that you, Snorky? No, that's not Snorky. Drop that soldier real quick. There he is. I think we just got unlucky with that one. I don't know why we jammed up so frequently, but almost got us killed. Almost got us taken out. He had an MP5. I was hoping he'd have something a little bit better. Ow. I think he just gets a freebie when he goes into the jump. I don't know, though. It seems like he gets a freebie. It seems that way to me, but maybe I'm biased. Let's apply some band-aids to our bleeding wounds here. And our injured pride since we just got beat up by a guy with his fist when we have a gun. Got another deep snork right there. Sounds like a porno, the deep snork. I can't decide if that's me breathing or somebody else. I definitely don't want to fight a snork out there in the water, because that's where he's got a real advantage. Snork, what are you doing right now? Did I slay you? Oh good, I slayed the snork. 
Huzzah! Hooray for me, for I have slayed the Snork! Everyone tell the king that the Snork shall slay no more of our warriors and take no more of our potatoes and radishes. Hey, a nice little refill right there. Keep an eye out for further Snorks. Snorkification seems to have affected this area very, very heavily. We did get tagged right there, but I think with our bulletproof resistance, we should be all right. Keep an eye out for more snorks running around in places they shouldn't be. Oh, never mind. He just had a weak gun. That's how we got out of that one in one piece. All right. Well, there ain't a whole much, there ain't much more to investigate here. It looks like all the papers. We know how to deactivate the source of the emission. Proceeding to dig into the lab with ghost. <laughs> Zombies coming out of everywhere. It's all screwed up. Ghost has gone insane. He must have been affected by the emissions. I I've dropped everything, trying to get out through the tunnels. I I'm at the swamp, but where's the bunker? Shit, shit, shit. No response from Sakharov. What's going on? Zombies everywhere. I'm running out of ammo. Okay, so it sounds like Vasiliev had a real rough day. No good for him. Fortunately, I'm still alive, though. Vasiliev's ghost can take solace in the fact that I didn't die, which is pretty cool. Where are you going, Snork? I got you. I got you. Maybe. You got any feet? Well, I can see two feet on you, but I guess we don't have time to saw them off right now. Stay a little bit wide. There is another snork over there somewhere. I think I see him. Yeah, there he is. And down he goes. A few more rounds. Put him to rest. He needed a nap anyways. He's being grumpy. Grab another snork foot. And for now, I don't know exactly where I'm going. Maybe up this way somewhere is what it's looking like. So anyways, let's climb a hill. Let's do a little bit of geology. Climbing hills is basically what geology is. If you ever, like, get through a geology trip without climbing up an enormous goddamn hill, you are the luckiest geology in the history, or you're the luckiest geologist in the history of ever. Because as far as I could tell, all the good stuff is at the top of a mountain, always. We don't have a lot of rounds left, but I'd rather use up everything for this gun than... I thought there was a hole in the fence right here. How are we going to get through right here? It looks like there is some radiation to be concerned about, but we do have a rad suit on. So, we're feeling extra radical 1980s style. Should keep us protected. We take off some of these. We'll put on a couple of fireballs too, just for good measure. I'm going to keep the endurance on me though. Doesn't look like we have any ready-made access to the base right now. We may have to go around like a wide way. Just keep an eye on it. Do these open? I see a lock, but it doesn't look like it's going to assist us much. Okay, well, what's that over there? And a big oak hanging tree, creepy looking bastard. Oh, it's a stash. A radioactive stash, more than likely, but since we got so much stuff on us right now, that's preventing us from becoming a nastily glowing little particle. A glowing particle? I don't know if I want to be a glowing particle or not. Either way, I don't want my piss to glow. I'd, I'd appreciate that. If you could get just my eyes to glow, that'd be pretty badass, though. I think it would definitely open up conversations at parties. Make life a little bit easier for meeting the opposite sex. Hell no, Snork. Not today. Not to- Oh, there's two of you. Okay, y'all rolling as crew. Gotcha. So maybe a little bit today, Snork. Maybe just a little bit. You can take some off the top. Get that Zed. Drop a couple of them just to make sure that this doesn't get too out of control. And also to get some freebie ammo. Hell yeah. So I don't know if I should take the road into the base. What do you think our best plan is looking like right now? Because I'm not really sure what to hypothesize here. This whole area just looks like a whole giant mess. Well, there's a tunnel back here or something. Unless that's the tunnel that we already came through. I think it is. We already came through there. So I guess we'll go up the bank right now. So we got a gate on this side. Does it open? No, that gate's done. Okay, since we've got no access through there. There it is. There's our way in. However, I do want to get rid of any of these zombies that might sneak in behind us. There's one down right there. The sound will attract the remainder. I'm going to search some of these AKs for ammo. 
None there right there, which really sort of doesn't explain how they're able to fire at me whenever they see me. Another one down. The zombies aren't nearly as bad as their military cohorts. At least they're still living cohorts. Those with animations still deep inside of them, although I guess the zombies are kind of animated. What is that? The functional Psy helmet. Okay, just in case you want to get your Gundam style on. Although that's one of those songs that got played out. If I never hear it again, it'll be too soon. Alright, before we go on in, I think that I will break off the episode here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. I look forward to seeing you all in future episodes. Hi, do out there, everybody, and I'll see you next time.